paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Chirpy this morning, Val. I sure am, Ex, huh? I wouldn't be dead for a million bucks. Well, dead men don't get to spend any money, Buff. Well, I'm better off alive then. <laughs> what, even on a bosun's pay? That's a good point. I'm about you for a pay rise, aren't I, boss? <laughs> <laughs> mayday, mayday, mayday. This is Captain Alan Corris of the Motor Yacht Enterprise. Mr. Walsman's yacht, boss. We're under pursuit by what seems to be a hostile vessel. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the Motor Yacht Enterprise. Please respond. Enterprise, this is Australian warship Hammersley. What's the situation? Over. A few minutes ago, a high-powered boat appeared from the north. They're circling us and they're armed. Enterprise, what's your location? 16 decimal 70 north, 135 decimal 20 east. I've got radar contact. They're just out of visual range. Enterprise, we're closing in on your position from the southwest. Make a course in our direction and we'll rendezvous with you in a few minutes. Glad to hear it, Got them on the EOD, sir. They're trying to board. Nav, bring the ship to boarding stations. The captain has the ship. Has to boarding station, has to boarding station, has to boarding station. Assume damage control center, condition voyage. Stop the board! Stop the board! Waltzman is on board. Waltzman's launch and check on them. Let's see if there's any injured. Shouldn't we go after them, sir? They won't get far. Besides, I'm more interested in Ray Waltzman. Samaru Islands, now here. Rescuing me's becoming a habit for you, Lieutenant. I'm just doing my job, Mr. Waltzman. Captain X? Carly, Sid Rep X. Dad, you're bleeding. All the attackers have left, sir. Ask Waltzman what he thinks the attack was about. Mr. Waltzman, do you have any idea what these men were after? Could be anything. Maybe the boat, even. Well, piracy is rare in these waters. Just my luck, huh? Just as well you guys came along when you did. 
They looked like islanders to me. Were they Samaroon, perhaps? I couldn't say. Did you hear them speaking at all? No, oh, what happened so fast? Jeez. Sorry. Oh. That looks pretty deep, sir. Would you like to come back to the Hammersley and I'll have one of our medics put a couple of stitches in it for you? No, no need. It's fine. Dad. We're all fine, really. I am fine. The boat's fine. No, really, I'm fine. I just would rather you guys went after those thugs. Hey, you're all right. They didn't hurt you or anything. So, um, one of you shot the boat. You know if it sunk? It's hard to say. Look, Mr. Walsman, protecting your own property is one thing, but it's not a good idea to resist armed men. You and your daughter could have been seriously injured or worse. Yeah, you're right. My daughter was on board, I just saw red. You have a guest on board? Uh, yeah, a friend. But how are you, sir? Look, Lieutenant McGregor, uh, those guys might be attacking another boat already. Well, we'll make sure you report this to the federal police, won't you? Yeah, yeah, sure. I know I will. Th thank you again for responding so quickly, and thank you. All right, everyone, let's go. Includes you, Spider. Yes, ma'am. Sir. According to Waltzman, they were pirates. But? Well, they had brand new semi automatic weapons. Flash boat. And pirates aren't usually that well healed. Oh, did you happen to see the other guy who was on the top deck? Just a glimpse. Well, he looks Samaroon too. You know, I am sure that I have seen him somewhere before. With Walsman? No, I don't think so. Oh, either way, Walsman didn't want us talking to him. No, he wanted us off the yacht altogether. Uh, sir, the speedboat's altered, tracking 310, and the speed's reduced currently at six knots. Oh, spider's aim must have been good. They didn't get very far. Let's go get him. Samaru, New Mia, New Guinea. Exo. I think we know where they're from. Charlie 82, this is X-ray 82. Go ahead, X. There is no evidence of piracy, but we've just found a Samaruan newspaper. So they are Samaruan then? Well, by the look of it, yeah. And uh, Buffer has just found a political campaign flyer promoting a man whose name is Masita Ballenban. Ballenban? Hang on. Sir, this Ballon Ban is a man I saw on Ray Walsman's yacht this morning. You sure? Well, unless he's got an identical twin, it's him, all right. Sir, I think these men were after Ballon Ban. I think they want him dead. Masita Ballon was Minister for Industrial Development in the Samaritan government. Was a minister. Well, he was sacked about a year ago. He had a falling out with the president about Balaban's handling of foreign investment in local mining. Now, at the moment he was sacked, he declared himself a presidential candidate. Well, is he connected to the insurgents then? Intel aren't sure about that. But he's, he's a popular local figure. I mean, he's been a thorn in the government side for months. So forces loyal to the president could well want him dead. Intel thought that an assassination attempt was very possible. Oh, Ballenbaum was lucky we showed up. So was Walsman. I'll report all this to ASIO. Thanks, sir. Why is Ray Walsman hanging out with the disgraced Samaruan mining minister? Ash 
went on it. So through the local radio station, five nights for two, Lord Howe Island, all expenses paid. It's great fishing on Lord Howe, though. Yeah, thanks. Sure leaves all taken care of. It's only valid till the end of the month. Oh, bummer. So she's not going? Yeah, she's going. She's taking a friend. Girls on tour? Uh, his name's Eric. 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 Right. Mm. So your girlfriend's taking a bloke called Eric. And, and you're, you're cool about that? Yeah, they're just mates. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's just that if I was Eric, I'd probably think, you know, mateship's one thing, but there's also the other thing. Yes, but you're still in the Stone Age. Nav. <laughs> Nav, yes. I was just thinking that there are some blokes who have got pretty basic instincts when it comes to women. Some blokes have evolved past the grunting, spearing mammoth stage. I like the way you trust your girl, Buff. It's good to have a little bit of confidence in your relationship. Thank you, Navigator. <sighs> You look like someone with a lot on their mind. Me? Hmm. No. I'm hearing uh, girlfriend problems. Chinese whispers, ex. Favourite game on this tub. Yeah. <laughs> so that's nothing serious then? Uh, Monica's gone on holiday with a friend. Oh. A male friend. Right. Well, she had to ask someone, didn't she? Yeah, well, how come she didn't ask one of her girlfriends? Oh, well, she says he's a good mate. They went to tech together. What, you've never met him? No. Well, that, that seems a bit insensitive. I mean, she must have known that'd be a bit weird for you. Yeah, I just hope she has a good time. I hope this girl knows how lucky she is. I'm the lucky one. <laughs> Do you really believe men and women can be just friends? Yes. I think they can. Feds are interested in your assassination theory. They'd like a chat when you get a chance. OK. Oh, Swain. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what are you up to now? Uh, probably going to the pub. Do you want to take him? What? Misery guts? Oh, just... Again with the moths. <laughs> again with the moths. <laughs> yeah, hi, it's me again. Just uh, wondering where you're at. Hmm. Give us a call uh, when you get a chance. Bye. How'd you go? Oh, she must be on the plane or at the beach or something. Yeah, we're just having a good time. You can learn from that, mate. Maybe she's left the phone at home, eh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, mate, she's going to think you're a stalker. What? What, shouldn't I call her? Maybe you should just, I don't know, play it a bit more cool. Oh, yeah, it's all right for some, isn't it? Come on, go to the pool. No, I'm not going to be much fun tonight, mate. Oh, oh, buff, buff, mate. Buff, buff, you're not going to head back to that ship on us, please. No, I'm going to go for a walk first. All right, we'll keep those lines of communication open, buff. Well, how about you keep yours closed, DT? All right, mate. <laughs> oh, what is it? I'm trying to cheer him up. You're an idiot. What? Monica, it's Pete again. I'd really appreciate if you called me back. What are you looking at? Nothing, mate.
Yeah, charge me. Listen, you know how the boss was saying the staging post for those mercenaries was up the coast here somewhere? Yeah, well, I reckon this bloke I've just spotted is one of them. He's got military wannabe written all over him and he's got a Russian Special Forces tattoo. It's worth seeing what he's up to, so I'll call you later. Yeah, OK. We got this all loaded and we go, yes? Paul to be here soon. This is the crane you got for me, huh? Yeah. That's pretty good, I like it. The weight of it will be fine, it will hold. Oh, good, good. Huh? Good. You're the man driving, huh? you guys to look out for him did you not wonder where he was we've only just noticed man everything all right X uh, sir buffer hasn't reported back yet and the guys last saw him at the pub he said he wanted to go for a walk sir did he say where just that he wanted to get in touch with his girlfriend he's been having a few problems with her oh you called him we have tried. Well, his phone's either off or out of range. I'll call him again if you like. Thanks, Charge. Sir, I know that he's taken this situation with his girlfriend to heart, but I, I find it really hard to believe that he's gone AWOL. Ma'am? Buffer. He called me. You might want to listen to that. When did he call? Just after he left the pub. Must have just got through. Organise a search party, X.
buffer is at sea. Perseverance. It was moored near us. Set sail last night. Okay, and here is his text. Been chasing five mercenaries by himself. Well, he did try to contact charge, sir. All right, call back the search party mm -hmm. and contact the harbour master. We need that barge's voyage plan. Yep. Well, Coast Watch have got a description of the barge, so uh, they'll fly patrols. Sir, if Buffer's right about these mercenaries, that barge could be heading to their staging post. Request permission to sail after them. Without your buffer, uh, it's a ship stopper. I know that, sir. We still don't have any confirmation that there are any sort of mercenary bases on the mainland. No, a lot of circumstantial evidence suggests there is one. And if that barge is heading to their staging post, then buffer is in serious danger. But what was the actual evidence to say that this plate was a mercenary? Well, it was rather a rushed message, sir, but he did mention that there was a Russian special forces tattoo. Oh, so a drunken sailor falls out of a pub and gets excited about a tattoo he saw. Ah, oh, sir, with respect, I don't think Buffer had been drinking. And I do think there's something going on that's worth investigating. All right, OK, OK, go on, have a look. Yes, sir. Bachki. Just entering the southern edge of the search area, sir. Okay. Nav, let's take a room for a closer look. Helm, Nav, stop. Anything from Coast Watch? No, not yet. 200k of coastline, hundreds of river mouths, estuaries, little inlets. The barge could be in any one of them. that I question your judgment. I'm glad to hear it. But I should be more involved in strategy, truth placement. Ah, oh, get your hands full with politics. When I am president, I will be in charge of the armed forces. I know my country, the lie of the land. And it's been very helpful. Now it's time for the professionals to do their bit. My people have suffered enough from this government. I want to see it gone. They're as good as gone, mate. 
What do you think this is all about? If we don't win the election, the insurgency will march into Parliament and throw them out for you. You'll be passing laws, opening schools, building roads and granting mining leases as President of the Federated States of the Samaru Islands. You trust me? Yes. Then let me worry about the war. You worry about the peace, OK? OK, Ray. Sir, Post Watch have spotted the barge. It's not heading north anymore. It's actually south of our position. Any contacts, Nav? Uh, bearing 185, range 12 miles. All right, increase to max, come round to the south. We'll close and investigate. Thanks, Rose. Two zero zero zero. Hospital here, the best new radiological services in the region. And here, the presidential palace will be converted into the Department of Justice. Fitting, yes? And this site here, is where the new presidential palace will be constructed. Soon, unity and peace to our fractured island nation. I am a man of principles, Ray. Which is why my syndicate agreed to support you. Because we knew that your promises were rock solid. Indeed. Who the hell's that? Two of you, come with me. The rest spread out. Find him. Monica? Listen to me. I need you to call Hammersley for me and tell him that... You're freaking me out, Pete. You're calling every five minutes. Come on, please. Just call the Hammersley. Tell them that I'm in bushland, about 800 metres inland of a south-flowing estuary. What are you doing there? You, you told me you couldn't get leave. Look, I can't explain right now. I feel like I don't know you at all. You're being all jealous and stingy. This really isn't a good time, Mon. Me and Eric are just trying to have a nice, relaxing time. Just shut up about Eric. Just tell the Hammersley that the mercenary staging camp is here. Charlie A2, this is X-Ray A2. Go ahead, X. There's no sign of Buffer here. The skipper reckons they never saw him. Uh, sir, the containers are full of food and used tents. Apparently, it's humanitarian aid found to Samaru, but uh, I don't think the skipper knows very much at all. Certainly doesn't know the way to Samaru. He's saying that his orders were changed after they loaded the tents. Over. Where was that, X? Uh, Yanguna Inlet. It's an estuary north of here. And, uh, sir... He says that the guys who loaded the tents had... Wog accents. There was definitely no weapons or mercenaries on board? No, sir. Uh, hold for a moment, please. Sir? I'll do all the talking. Excuse me. Uh, where did the guys who loaded the tents go? Um, back into the bush or uh, on the yacht, maybe. The yacht? Yeah, it turned up from somewhere's real flash. No, it was like you could fit an army on that boat. Yeah. <laughs> sir, he's saying there's a yacht up the estuary too. A big one? Walshman. They haven't been sent. Thank goodness. You know you're going to fail, don't you? This coup thing you're cooking up. Other countries aren't just going to stand by and watch. It'll be a done deal before they have time to react. But thanks for the opinion. OK, break camp. Got to be out of here ASAP. But we're not ready. What about all our supplies? This man is Navy. His mates will be looking for him. But our plans? We'll have to change. You stay back, take him into the bush somewhere, and kill him. But bury him. I don't want him found. You should have stayed on your boat. It's 
So, are we going after Wallsman, sir? Or do we go back to where the barge put in, Yanguna Inlet? Yeah, Buffer could have jumped ashore. If Wallsman's got a couple of dozen mercenaries aboard, he'll be heading straight for the Samaru Islands. Sir, uh, Monica Bartlett just called through. Who? She's Buffer's girlfriend. She called his mobile. She spoke with him. She couldn't hear him properly, but she thinks that he said something about a camp near an estuary. Yanguna Inlet. Yeah. Buffer kept telling her to call us like he was in trouble, and then that phone had just cut out. <laughs> Away the sea boats. Let's find him. Ten metres away in this stuff and we'd never see him. Hurry up. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for you to dig the hole. Big. X, do you want to go further upstream? Over. The barge can't have gone up much further than this. It gets too shallow. They must have landed here somewhere. Oh, we'll keep looking. Over. Roger that. Sit further up, Rhino. My name's Peter. What's yours? You got a wife or girl back wherever you're from? <laughs> no. Busy boat like you's not gonna have time for a girl, eh? What do you reckon? Is it unreasonable to be jealous of your girl if she goes on holidays with some other bloke? I mean, what's a fair thing? I'm always away. She's got all this time to kill. I don't know, maybe if I met the bloke, it might be different. Your girlfriend is with another man. Well, she says he's just a friend. So what do you say? Are you looking at a sucker or what? I think today is not your day. Keep digging.
box. X, I think we've got something. Munitions box, man. Getting tired? Keep digging. I don't have time for this. Grab the shovel and dig. Here. I could make this very quick for you. Dig the hole. Dig. Single file, stay quiet. Move through. Spider, you with me? ET, take the left, bomber, stay with X. Where's Buffer? to be all clear, X. They must have liked it. Charlie A2, this is X-ray A2. Go ahead, X. So we've found the camp. It's empty. And Buffer? He's not here, sir. He must be on Walsman's boat. Get back here and we'll go after him. Roger that. Come on. Head out. Or die now. Shoot me and dig it yourself. What's that for, Bill? was funding the mercenaries. In exchange for mining rights on the Samaru Islands. And who was in charge? Well, Ballenband would say he's, but he's just a puppet. 
Every order came from Ray Walsman. Including the one to kill you? Especially that one. You'll want to call your girlfriend, I guess. You're right, Mike. The camp was a mercenary staging post. An intel out of Santa is running hot about an imminent coup, and this guy, Masita Balamban's name, just keeps coming up. From what Buffer overheard, he's just a puppet. It's Ray Walsman who's pulling the strings. OK, look at this. Walsman's yacht rendezvoused with another vessel just a few hours after you saw him. And for the next hour, they just transferred a lot of people, a lot of crates. Mercenaries and weapons. The barge was probably supposed to do the ferrying. And when Buffer got in the way, Walsman's had to make the drop himself. And your Buffer, you pulled up a rocket? Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Sorry, right, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We could possibly have dinner first or something like that. You know, if you wanted to. Yeah, but I, I know. Well, we I know. We'll get a pop meal. Let's get a steak. I'll catch up. Steak. You love the steak. My sure leave means you too, you know? Sort things out with Monica. Can you feel it, X? <laughs> Worth being alive, isn't it? Even on a bosun's pay? Even on a bosun's pay. <laughs>